हेलो एवरी वन आउट देयर आई एम डॉक्टर मोहित सिंह द होस्ट ऑफ दिस चैनल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वेट सिंह तो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई विल टेल यू दैट दिस वीडियो इज गुणा ऑन द टॉपिक हाउ टू कलेक्ट ब्लड सैम्पल्स इन पिग्स एंड पिगलेट्स देर आर थ्री साइड्स फॉर कलेक्शन ऑफ ब्लड सैम्पल्स इन पिग्स द फर्स्ट वन इज ईयर वेन एंड द सेकेंड साइड इज एंटीरियर वेना के बाद एंड द थर्ड मोस्ट प्रेफर्ड साइड इज हार्ट पंक्चर so let me tell you about the ear vein the ear vein is the site where we need an big size pig up to 50 kg body weight or more than that so for that we need an expertise to collect blood samples second the anterior vena cava in case of anterior vena cava you have to be expert while collecting blood samples you have to penetrate the needle directly in the anterior vena cava and for the third site is heart puncture so there is an disadvantage of collection of blood sample in heart puncture that if you penetrate the needle wrongly then it may be fatal to the pig it may cause death of the pig on the spot instantly so today we have an alternative site for collection of blood sample in pigs that one is recurrent tarsal vein remember the name recurrent tarsal vein the recurrent tarsal vein is supplying the hind parts of the pig and it's going downward from the tibia fibula to the metatarsal of the pig so today i will teach you how to collect blood samples from the recurrent tarsal vein come with me so for blood collection in piglets we need some basic essentials in that we need one cotton gauze along with the surgical spirit secondly we need a scalp vein set of 22 gauze then the tourniquet which is applied on the legs for blood collection and for the blood we need vial the total volume of the vial is 6 ml edta vial then at the end we need latex gloves so these are the items for blood collection now you all can see first we have to restrain the piglet with complete care then i apply the tourniquet to the right hind leg and to completely restrain the leg and to pop up the recurrent tarsal vein then we apply a spirit gauze to make the area contamination free then we poke the vein with gauze scalp vein set and collect the blood in a 6 ml edta vial as you can see we have to restrain the piglet with complete care not to put additional pressure on the legs and the body parts uh, keep this in mind that we have to collect blood do not try to injure the piglet so in between we pump the leg with uh, thumb pressure and fingers to pump out the blood from the vein in the second case this piglet is a bit furious so we have to take additional precautions while collecting the blood we have to restrain the piglet with additional care so secondly i am again applying a gauze spirit gauze then poking the vein with the sv set then checking that the blood is coming out from the sv set or not so as you can see the blood is coming out from the sv set in this video i want to thank dr rohit he is in purple shirt to help me out for blood collection and deepak he is a vld student in the university he is a very helping hand to collect the blood sample and restrain the pigs so thank you guys thank you everyone for watching the video blood collection in piglets and if you like the content do subscribe my channel and share the video and if you want any further content relating to the piglets any other thing in veterinary do comment below thank you